What's going on, everybody? Nat Sherrington with CraveOnline.com. We're here at Universal Studios Hollywood in sunny Southern California for the red carpet premiere of Transformers The Ride 3D. You've done the voice in the ride, voice in the movies. Tell me, was there any difference recording the voice for the ride as opposed to in the films? No, not really, although we had to keep in mind there was a lot of action and very little time for something more subdued or relaxing in any, any case. Because this is a uh, this is a period of time where there is so much action that's been described to me as being one of the most exciting rides that you could do. I'm I'm really anticipating, and I'm not kidding you because I've seen uh, I've seen glimpses of it, but I haven't seen anything complete, and I haven't got a clue of what to expect. The people that have seen it have told me that this is something you have to experience to describe and. Uh, I said, well, try to describe what you saw. He said, yeah, you can't, you can't. And I said, well, okay, I'm primed, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, well, have fun and good luck against the Decepticons. Thank you very much. We will succeed. Roll out. Now, you're the voice of Megatron. Was there anything different about uh, playing the character in a ride as opposed to playing it in the movie? Well, we had uh, a lot more time to sort of kind of work on the, the scenes that we're doing. Um, that was probably the major difference, and then trying to make sure that the voice cuts through. Uh, in the feature, also, there's so much going on, and here there's so much going on. So it's just concentrating on making sure you can understand the words, because Megatron is... Megatron, so he's kind of powerful and has a lot of this, but you know, there's this sound. So you want to make sure to uh, make it articulate so it will come through. That was one of the main things. So we're here with Dustin Layton. He's the voice of Evac. Now that's the car that you get to ride around in when you ride the ride. Tell me what it was like being involved with, you know, a Michael Bay slash Universal Studios theme park production. Uh, you know, it's it's a big production. It, it takes time. It's development. I, I recorded Evac first almost a year and a half ago, and then we come in, we make adjustments, we fine tune it. We really want the person in the ride to have that experience and to feel the sense of heroism that the Transformers is all about. So to, to be able to come in and to be a voice and be part of it, um, even the initial audition experience, you know, I demoed and I came in. It took about six months for them to bring me on as EVAC. Now with this ride for Transformers The Ride 3D, you guys invented some new 3D technology to try to enhance the rider's experience. Tell me a little bit about what went into that. Well, the, what was great about this ride is that, um, you know, the, the screens are enormous. And it's, it's a sort of venue that you can't find anywhere else in a movie theater or at home. Um, and they completely envelop your vision. And once that happens, you have a lot of opportunities in 3D to bring all the characters out in front of the screen and have them interact with the audience. And that was something very new for us because we're used to working on um, movie features. So, you know, we tried to bring everything that we put into making shots for the Transformers movies and apply those to the ride. Okay, now, as you people can't see, I don't know if you can see on camera, you've, we've got a leg cast on here now. Uh, you've got some superheroes drawn on it. Are you excited about the Transformers ride? You know, I have been on it. I was on it like a month ago. Uh, but, you know, it's really, it's an incredible ride, and I hear that they did some adjustments to it so you can see mice, like, running the street. That's how incredible the 3D is. So that's, I'm really excited to go on it again. Well, we hope you get better, and we hope it won't keep you from destroying the Decepticons today in the ride. Actually, uh... Uh, Decepticon paid me off. It, the Decepticons actually did this to me. Don't tell anyone. Do it. Now, if the Decepticons attacked Los Angeles, do you think you'd be able to join with Optimus Prime to protect all the citizens of L.A.? I think so, especially with our emergency preparedness division of the city of Los Angeles. Our police and fire are ready, and our public works will be there if they come. All right. Megatron, be warned. As you can see, that was ridiculously awesome, and I'm wasting no more time talking to you guys. I'm going to go ride the ride right now. See you later. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bumblebee and Optimus Prime.
careful with the old spark. I'm very proud to have been part of the team that brought you this experience at Universal Studios, and I hope you have a great time today. Oh! <laughs>